It's going to come down to a speed race between Lysandra and Deacon. Should we win? Um, let's push the Lysandra back. Back out. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, y'all. We're back with another live arena video. Before we do that, though, I do need to pull five sacred shards so we can get up to the uh, ten fragments for the Timic Trunk Heart fusion. Um, let's see. What else has happened since my last video? A few things, actually. Check this out. Just got this in the Soul Merchant. We got a Gofford and a Foley Soul. I've been using the, both those champions a lot, so I figured might as well pick up the One Star Souls, because that's going to be pretty handy. For Gofford, I went ahead and chose um, Life Harvest. I'm star I I've really am starting to want more and more champions uh, with Life Harvest, because I feel like so much of the way I'm playing this game is like, kill the enemy nukers. They get revived. Kill them again. They get revived. Uh, so having more champions with Life Harvest is actually um, really something desirable. With the Foley, I'm honestly not sure. I went ahead and picked Phantom Touch because it's got the you know bonus damage. Like uh, uh, you really want Foley to be killing the Nukers with this ability. So it was kind of between this or um, or what's the other one? Uh. You know what I'm thinking. Um, is it Life Harvest? No, not Life Harvest. Soul Reap. Soul Reap. Uh, I was thinking between this is Soul Reap because we already have Soul Reap on um, our Staltus. Uh, I just don't. Yeah, we don't really need it here. Um, I think it's better on. Better to go with Phantom Touch and then maybe we can get that early damage proc on the first hit and then that'll help him finish him off. So, uh, yeah, cool. With that, uh, let's see. Anything else in here that we care about? I think that's it. Uh, new builds, nothing too interesting. I think that's it, yeah. Uh, we don't have any other champions that we're really using, so let's go ahead and pull our shards. We're gonna do pull five of these. Let's see what we can get. One. Oh, I gotta make sure this goes into my mercy. Let me pull my spreadsheet. Okay, we got an epic. It is a Gearhard the Stone. Make sure you track your mercy, guys. Is that Gorgorab? Oh my god! We finally got Gorgorab. That is insane, dude. I, this is one of the few uh, legendary or epic champions I don't have on my account. I actually really wanted him for a long time because I needed an undead reviver. Um, these days, I don't know if he'll get any play, but, uh, you know, might as well. He's on the 10x right now, which is nice. Okay, that was two. Here's number three. Show me the gold. Nope. Uh, Claude. Claude's a decent champion. Four. Another epic. Drake, no thank you. All right, last one. Here we go. Number five. Come on, Duchess. And all epics. Okay, that's fine. Um, cool to pick up Gorgor up. That's a new one. Uh, so it's good to get that. Let's see. Undead. There we go. Uh, might end up building him for the undead, the epic undead um, secret room, but I don't know. I mean, I don't really care that much about that kind of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the fights. We've got 37 minutes left. Oh, real quick, let's check where we're at. Um, I've been kind of busy all weekend, so I haven't really been done, able to do a lot of fights, but we're at rank 350, and we're at 37.66. So getting real excited for Quintus if we can finally pick him up, but it's still going to be a little bit of a grind. We're still, like, we haven't really moved that much up in the rankings. I'd love to move beyond 350, but you know, I've just been kind of hovering there for a long time. All right, so this guy's just under 4,000 points, so we'll assume it's going to be a little bit of a harder fight. Plus four Duchess. All right, well, we'll open up the Warlord and the Arbiter. Let's see what we got here. <coughs> I'm starting to pick up my Arbiter more than my Warlord when I go first. I think... Um, I'm just getting a lot of people that are going for um, a lot of people that are going for uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, Arbiter, go first teams, and so I, I really don't want them to steal that. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit tricky. I think we're going to go with the Wukong and the 
don't this. All right, let's see what let's see what they do. Right now, I'm leaning towards banning the um, Necrit. But I'm picking the Wukong, so I'm not forced to do that. I just really don't like the way my Wukong is built. I'm honestly going to treat him more like a support champion than a nuke champion, I think. Okay, we've got a Hegemon. I don't remember what this guy does. Uh, I think we need to go ahead and ban the Hegemon. Is that the self-reviver guy? I think we go like this. Damn, I kind of wish I would have had Jet Nino. I think I don't remember what this this mythic champion does. I really need to learn them. I thought that was the reviver one, but <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna do this. Really scratched him. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. No, actually, it's probably a waste. We're going to strip it with, um... Oh, wait a minute. We don't have Jetney. Nice thing about Live Arena that makes Necrit a little less strong is Necrit is actually first in the turn order. So when we nuke them on the next turn, if Necrit dies, he will not be able to protect the other champions on the team. Hopefully we can get a stun off on the Taurus. Um, I'm going to try and land a weaken on Taurus. No luck. Okay. Oh, that's what I was afraid of, but I think she can't really do anything, right? She already used her ability. So let's come in here. Ooh, we did not get it. Okay, we'll see if we can... Ah, uh, oh, we didn't sleep the Taurus. Oh, wait, I'm a moron. Oh, my God, I could have hit the Necrit, and then there would have been a ton of bonus damage to go out. All right. Well, that was uh, not entirely surprising. That looked like it was a tough matchup for us. I think I should have gone with Jetney in that fight, though. Actually, when, let's see. How did that pick go down? Yeah, he went... He went... Necrit. He had Necrit and Duchess picked. Yeah, I should have gone with Jetney. I should have gone... I could have gone... Or not necessarily Jetney, but I could have gone... Um, okay, we're going to go Arbiter first. I could have gone uh, Arbiter Warlord. He went uh, Taurus Necrit. I, I knew that he had two supports picked already, so I knew I was going to get a support ban. I could have gone um, Owl's Core Jetney. I think that would have been better. Because Wukong wasn't going to do anything for us there. I need to ascend his gear, and I need to book him, to be honest. Okay, so we've got a speed team here. Um, yeah, we'll take Foley and Warlord. Sorry for the coughing. I still have a cold, unfortunately.
All right, let's see what he's going to do next. This is an interesting plus two Lysandra. I wonder how fast it is. Okay, we got a Shuzen. And a Kaimar. I don't want to play this. Who do you think is faster, the Shuzen or the Lysandra? I'm going to guess the Lysandra. Um, who do I want for our last champion? Um, yeah, let's just go with Staltus. If he has like a stone skin brass clad or something, that could be a problem, but I don't know. I was thinking maybe go with Nishak in case he picks someone in stone skin, which could be an issue. We'll see. This is really going to come down to the speed race. I assume based on the fact that he, okay. Yeah, it's a good counter pick, but Saltus is a good, good option. Um, we'll ban the Lysandra. I assume, okay, he's going to ban the Arbiter. Not a total surprise. It's going to come down to the speed race between Staltus and Shuzen. Or not Staltus, sorry, Deacon and Shuzen. And he wins, okay. Um. Oh, interesting choice. Uh, okay, we might win this. He's going to give uh, Foley a huge turn meter boost right here. I don't think he's going to be able to kill Staltus. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Foley's a great counter pick to Kaimar. Great counter pick to Kaimar. And I'm glad we went with the Staltus too as our other DPS instead of uh, Nishak or something that uh, Kendra Fon can one shot. I run into that a lot where people pick uh, um, Kaimar into Foley, and then they just turn meter boost to Foley, who go, who then cuts in head of everyone and one shots the team. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't think that's exactly what you were going for right there. I wonder if... Why did he do nothing? He must have weak hit the Wukong... Or he must have weak hit the Foley? Or maybe he just barely... But the Deacon was so squishy. I'm just really curious as to why that Wukong did so little damage to the rest of my team. I feel like he should have done a lot more. But I guess he could have weak hit the Foley. <coughs> oh man, this guy's 4,500 points. Okay. We'll open Warlord Arbiter. We got a plus two CP with a five, six star Polymorph Blessing. Don't love that. Okay. We're probably going to lose this. I mean, it's going to come down to the speed race, I assume. It's going to come down to the speed race between Deacon and Yumiko. Oh, you know what I could have done instead? No, not with all these six-star polymorphs. Uh, bringing in Kaimar so that it goes... Um, Seafy, Arbiter, Kaimar. Okay, I think we go with the Kandrafon here. Kandrafon's a good pick because even if Yumiko locks us out... He still hits hard with his A A1. But this guy is clearly a huge whale, so. Interesting choice to ban the um, Staltus. Oh, man. Oh, we got the freeze on the... Um...
we got the freeze on the arbiter before she could do the turn meter boost <coughs> so that was it was like a 20 percent chance to happen yeah we'll, we'll just go ahead and end this there's no reason to stick around bummer but what can you do Okay, we got the CP pick. Really, really want to get my Kaimar in a better spot. I mean, maybe maybe I can consider using him. Um, let's not pick him here. Oh. We'll go with the Rodos. Just because Georgia can't one shot Rodos. Oh, he took my Kaimar. Um, let's see. How can we play this? I think we have to ban the um We're probably screwed. Our best bet is um, Warlord does not get slept and can lock out the enemies. But this is going to be rough. And there's some chance we beat him in the speed race, but I don't think so. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Oh wow! Did he weak hit on everyone? Oh no, he hit. He uh, he slept. Rodos. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? See if he completely lapped us. Brute, dude. That is some horse shit right there. How did she completely lap me? Let me see if he's just going to revet. Uh, no interesting choice. Okay. Oh, we locked her out. That's right. She, I was like, why didn't she revive? I think that's probably game. Oh, wait, no, he's locked out. That's right. Okay, we took the CP out. That's good. I, think we're, I don't think there's anything we can do here. I think the George is going to kill us, but... Yeah, all right. Getting some rough fights today, man. I wonder if there's anything I could have done differently there. Maybe I could have picked 
Foley instead of Rotos. Because at least Foley could get the turn meter boost from the Torment. The other option... Actually, you know what I need to do against these Torment pickers? I need to ban the other DPS and force them to try and kill me with Torment. Which is going to be real hard. Okay, this is a fully ascended Chuzen, so we're definitely going to need to try and beat him in this... Or we're going to probably need to ban this champion. Okay, this is going to be tough. Tough, 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 tough. Um, I think we go Jetney Alsgore. Or not, not, yeah, there we go. Uh, there's a very good chance we lose this, because he's got two speed boosters and a Necrit. I mean, the only other option, we could try and go seconds. Does that make any sense at all? Not really. We'll try this. What's this champion's name again? I need to... Hold on, I'm going to try and look her up. Wukong. Um... Ban the shoes in. Um. Shoot, Jenny didn't get the kill. I think we're screwed. It's oh man, we're getting rocked today. What does she do? I mean, she two canoes heals taunt. Yeah, we need to... I wonder if I should have used Jetney's A3. Man, how did that go? We won one out of five. Ugh. All right, that's what happened to me a lot, where we've been getting really bad first runs, though, and the second ones have turned around. So we need to win four of these <laughs> to have a 50% win rate today. Ugh, brutal. Brutal. Um... What's her alternate form do? Fills a turn meter of 30% increased attack, 30% increased accuracy. Oh, she didn't actually do that, though. She did a 30% chance of placing petrification buff on attacker from one turn when an ally's attack under a revive on death. Removes all buffs from all enemies, increases the duration of all buffs by one turn, then places... Oh, that's a, that's a uh, buff strip. No wonder. Oh, that's how he was able to kill my Jetney. Uh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, I thought it was the Wukong. Shoot, did he pick that after I picked Alsgore or before? I didn't. I totally forgot that one has a cleanse. That was a huge mistake. If that was the case, if I picked the Alsgore into that, that's what I get for not knowing the mythical champions well enough. That one's a buff strip with revive on death. Okay. Um, we're gonna open with Arbiter. Oh, shoot. Okay, he stole my Warlord. Um, we're going to go Stalthus Deacon. My solution to this is I built out a um, Basher. 
I built out that basher specifically in this scenario when the enemy steals my warlord pick. We built basher to lock out the warlord for one turn. That's all we need is one turn lockout to keep the warlord from locking me out and then just killing the enemy. So obviously warlord's a way better champion than basher, but basher can do the job. Specifically as a counter pick for when they steal my warlord. Especially since he's trying to take me on in the speed race and he's using a non-awakened, non uh plussed up anything lissandra oh whoops that's my bad i forgot to lock in my champions so looks good for us in terms of speed uh okay we're gonna go foley not sure Feeling good about this one so far. Yep, we'll go ahead and ban the Hegemon. That's fine. It's going to come down to a speed race between Lysandra and Deacon. Which we win. Um, let's push the Lysandra back. Back out. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to build that wa the basher. I mean, he's not in good gear at all. Like, he's just speed-tuned with the Arbiter. Actually, no. I didn't speed-tune him with the Arbiter. I speed I sped tuned him with the Deacon, I think. I think I made him even faster. So that... Um, so that... Well, actually, he might not have glyphs. I don't know. I have to double-check. I thought I made him, like, 330 speed or something. Um, particularly for that case. That's also why I started going with the Arbiter pick before the Warlord pick. Um, because I was like, okay, if they go with the Warlord pick, we can counter it with the Basher pick and we'll be fine. And then if he opts to ban the Basher, Arbiter plus Deacon with like a fast Nuker should be more than enough to get the, the um, Nukers across the line before um, before the Warlord can lock us out, unless it's like a super fast Warlord. But usually people don't build Warlords super fast. Like, I feel, I see like a lot of really fast Yumikos, but Warlord tends to not be like the super, super fast Warlord, because you usually want to put it in stone skin. Oh my god. Oh, is this the same guy? That's why we're fighting him again. Okay. Um, we're going to go Deacon Foley. Foley, uh, because of this Kaimar, if he tries to sleep us, Foley will get the turn meter boost. We're probably going to pick Basher and Staltus. Okay. Um, we're going to need to ban the um, Hefrak. Or not Hefrak. Um, the, uh, what's his name? I'm the brain fart. Uh, okay, yep. I'll take that off the table. It's weird. He went with basically the same team. Like, uh, unless... Okay. Alternate ban. Um, the Ward of the Fallen on the um, Rotos is kind of a problem. Um, we're going we're gonna to do this. Ooh. That's a bummer, but the Rotos is not going to kill the whole team. He's not going to kill Saltus at all. I mean, if he's no, I, I, I don't think he, I don't think he can do anything here.
Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. His, I mean, that was maybe his, actually his best bet probably would have been to um, use faded destruction on Staltus because his, his only shot of winning that fight was killing Staltus. Um, and I don't think he can do it with anything but faded destruction. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I don't think he can do it with faded destruction either without an increased attack buff. But it was his only shot of getting a win. That Ward of the Fallen is so annoying. Oh, you know what I just realized? If we had a five-star... Um, if we had a five-star... like Or a six-star... If we had a guaranteed... Um, Phantom Touch... That would help a lot for fighting uh, Rodos with Foley. Because it would mean that he would get knocked down below half health... With the Phantom Touch proc, and then the second hit could finish him off. Um, okay, this is an interesting one. I don't want to save my support pick. Nishak kind of feels like a weird pick into Cfi because the block um, buffs, but because he's built more for damage than landing bombs, I think it's okay. Um, I feel like we just picked UDK. And ban the. Ooh. I kind of want to pick UDK and ban the Harima, but on the other hand, if he counterbans the UDK, that could be a problem. No! I meant to pick Romantu there. Romantu would have been a better pick. I'm, I messed it up. Well, that would be fair. The fact that he... left my... Um... Nice. And one nice thing is, okay, I think that's fine. Uh, let's just see if we can get the Staltus around. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, wait, I forgot it's Harima. Okay, okay. I didn't play that well. I'm actually kind of shocked we won this, but... I mean, I shouldn't say that. I guess... No. There's no way. There's no way, right? She's locked out. There's no way. Cool. Okay, okay. We're redeeming ourselves a little bit. <laughs> We're up to 3770. Is that the highest I've been? I don't think I've ever hit 3800. That champion, that mythical champion's name, Arbias the Stone Thorn. Okay. That was the one that. These mythicals, man, I like kind of know what they do, but they have so many skills, it's hard to remember everything. Uh, okay, we'll open with the Arbiter pick against this guy. Is this the same guy? 
feel like this is the same guy. Okay, we'll go. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and pick Foley right now since you know we're pretty much always going to pick Foley against a Wukong. I'm trying to remember what blessing this is. It's a weird team. A lot of people love to build um, an Ethwe in stone skin. So I kind of want to counterpick that. But at the same time... Yeah, let's just go ahead and pick Nishak. Nishak's good against Harima, too. There's no um, Polymorph on the field. Uh, I see no reason not to just ban the Kimmy. He banned the Deacon. What in the world? Why would you ban Deacon? Never know when people... Under, I never understand. Sometimes people do that. They ban Deacon instead of Arbiter. Okay, I was correct that that is a Stone Skin Anithwi, so I am very happy I brought him in the shack. Oh my god. Push him back a little bit. Oh, I bet this Brogni was built out as a nuker for um, the uh, Corpulent Cadaver team. <laughs> so weird that he banned Deacon. I feel like that must have been like a misclick or something. I feel like if he didn't ban Deacon, I don't know, it would have been interesting. Okay, this guy is 39.54. Did I just win the last four in a row? I feel like I won the last four in a row. So that means if we win this one, we'll be up for the day. Interesting to see Ward of the Fallen on um, Harima. I'm going to go to Alzgore Jetney. If he picks like a... Um, another go first champion, or like another speed champion, it could be a problem because I kind of committed to banning the Tormund with this pick, but... <clears throat> Yeah, perfect. Interesting choice to ban the Alzgor. Oh, whoops! Ah, dude, I keep. I'm so used to picking um, Warlord uh, Arbiter that I clicked on the war like the position that Arbiter is normally in. Oh, that's kind of annoying. It's a Stone Skin. Um, ooh. Man, that Alzgore might have been the right ban. Shoot, this team is super tanky. Ooh, damn. I wonder if that's um, Savage and 
uh, and stone skin. I feel like it's got to be. Oh my god, dude. This this Rhonda. Dude, Rhonda, how many times has she come in with other with the path? She broke it again. I mean, there's there's no way we're dead. But holy hell, dude. She is so boosted. She got the counterattack, then she got like four of the passive procs. Wild. All right, well, good fight. Yeah, I think that Rhonda was, must have been in four piece stone skin and savage because she hit really hard for being in stone skin. All right, well, we got our four wins. So, what did we finish? We finished five and five, kind of went up nowhere. Where am I at on the leaderboards? I'm exactly where I left at 350, and we're at 3771. All right, well, those are the fights for today. Um, kind of wish they would have gone a little better, but it is what it is. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.